Let's venture back down TurboView's memory lane with a little R and R. Hey everybody, welcome to another installment, or rather the final installment of TurboView's random rerun. The idea behind this little rewind series was to take a look back at a Turbo Graphics game in the first half of TurboViews that we reviewed so long ago, we may have forgotten all about it. Not to mention, they were essentially some of my TG16 favorites. Well, in a few years, when the second half of TurboViews gets old enough for this particular treatment, we may resurrect R&R for some more of these episodes. Who knows? But until then, let's take a quick look at an excellent shooter for the TurboGrafx Super CD called Cotton Fantastic Night Dreams. This was TurboViews episode number 56 from October of 2011, a decade ago. In this game, you control Cotton, a young witch who is immensely hooked on willows and, well, will do anything to get some, including stopping evil forces. <laughs> Cotton is a shooter with some cute em up elements, but it's actually a slightly darker game than you'd think with evil forests and mysterious castles and more. While it is a horizontal shooter, the auto scrolling actually moves you around in unique ways, which I really like. Plus, Cotton's main weapon is powerful and unique. The fairy options are great and increasing the bombs you can drop is explosive fun. Of course, when you die, you lose everything, but uh, we, we, we won't talk about that. <laughs> the game looks great and sounds great. I mean, it's an overall excellent Super CD package. I received Cotton really late in my childhood Turbo Graphics collection. In fact, I say received because it was a Christmas gift in 1994, about a year or so after its initial release. I remember it well because, and I'll be curious to see if any of you can relate, I circled a bunch of games in the TurboZone Direct Flyer slash catalog, and I said, okay, here's a list of gift possibilities, hint, hint, handing it to my mom for Christmas. <laughs> uh, TurboZone Direct. I was a somewhat regular customer there, snagging late release games that I definitely couldn't find in the store. In a way, that company extended my love for the system because they made hard to find goodies available, you know? And it's a wonderful memory to add to the TurboGrafx-16 memory vault. Anyone else deal with TZD back in the day? Anyway, good old mom came through with a couple of Turbo Graphics games, including Sid Mead's Terraforming and Cotton. It's funny though, when you get a bunch of games all at once, some of them end up falling by the wayside, you know? Terraforming was like that for me, as I didn't play it very much at all after receiving it, instead gravitating toward Cotton. I remember beating this game back then, <laughs> or so I thought. I kept seeing Go Extra as it nicely tossed me back to the beginning. Ugh, yeah. I never had the ability to get through a second pass back in the day. But as an adult, I was finally able to, and I sort of ended the video with this. It had been a long while since I defeated this game, and well, it was still fun. Plus, anytime I could find a unique way to end a TurboViews episode, I went for it to try and avoid the cookie cutter review structure, you know. Anyway, that's a quick look at my sort of history with Cotton Fantastic Night Dreams. Next, we will run the original TurboViews review in case it interests you. And that rhymed. That was that was an accident. Total accident. Thanks for listening and supporting TurboViews over the years, as well as supporting my little supplementary episodes such as this. Take care, everyone. Okay, everyone, grab those lollipops because it's cute-em-up time. This is Cotton Fantastic Night Dreams, 
a horizontal shooter released in arcades, then ported to some home consoles. This US version of the TurboGrafx Super CD can be hard to find since it was released late in the Turbo's life. The game revolves around Cotton, a young witch who is hooked on juicy, candy-like willows. So when the fairies in Fairyland ask her to stop the evil mist in exchange for these willows, well, Cotton's addictions are nicely tempted. This storyline is cutesy and goofy and revealed slowly in cutscenes before each stage. Lollipops out and lick. Ironically, the rest of the game is not as cute as the cutscenes make it out to be. The enemies you attack are a strange mix of goofy and downright creepy, including Frankenstein head tossing monsters, quirky grim reapers, mutant crabs, dragon beasts and stacks of enemies that just won't die. Even the locations deviate from cute as our favorite redhead on a broom flies through dark forests, volcanoes, and even castles. The game's six stages auto-scroll from left to right, but often shift into reverse and sometimes move up and down for some nice variety. Cotton's main weapon is called a blast bead. Her weapon gradually gets more powerful, eventually becoming, how shall we say, pretty freaking awesome. Numerous crystals are found in each stage and are both a constant help and a constant annoyance. If shot by a weapon, they change color and bounce all around until collected. With a bunch of them hopping about, plus a ton of enemies on screen, it can all get very distracting. Based on their color, crystals add points to your score, experience, and even magic. These magical items include the Dragon Fire and the Electro Bolt, both of which are pretty powerful. When used, they also render Cotton invincible for a very short moment. Cotton recruits fairies as sidekicks who help out by constantly attacking and zeroing in on enemies close by. Holding down the button will rocket the fairies directly out front, though I never really found this very useful. The neat part is even the fairies can use the special magic. Fairies will also sacrifice themselves for Cotton when she dies. Now if those attacks weren't enough, Cotton can also drop bombs. They are very slow at first, but as you collect bomb power and double bomb power, they increase, eventually screaming across the bottom of the screen, doing some serious damage. The power-ups and weapons are great, but now the bad news. When you die, all of the hard work powering up goes away. Though the magical items remain, you lose a ton of experience and the bombs go back to the bare minimum. Cotton is not an easy game, and Cotton herself is not a small target. You know, this whole one-hit-you're-dead thing, yeah, can get very depressing in this one. You absolutely have to stay powered up to stand a chance in later levels. I mean, look at all this stuff in Stage 6. You have to be souped up, stay toward the top, and bomb, shoot, bomb, shoot, bomb. Thank God you can touch the walls and the ground or else, wow. That would suck. The graphics in Cotton have excellent multi-scrolling with backgrounds that nicely change as the stage progresses. Sometimes things become plain and you wonder, what the hell happened? But then it tosses something really cool into the mix and you find a really nice balance overall. It is very vibrant and pleasing with large bosses, interesting characters, and a lot of unique environments. Audio-wise, the music rocks. There is a lot of great stuff here, and it gets the adrenaline pumping big time. The sound effects are often drowned out by the music, but I have to say, that didn't bother me at all. Supposedly, the PC Engine version has speech during cutscenes. The US variation does not. However, Cotton does scream a few random things. 
E Goober? What did you call me? Cotton moves around the screen with the directional pad quite well, although there is no speed setting. You have no choice but to get used to weaving around at the pace that the game sets for you. The main attacks with button 2 and dropping bombs with button 1 are very easy to figure out. Getting the fairies to do magic require both buttons being pressed at once, and this can get confusing when you are in a hurry or stuck in a corner. Cotton is a game where I find turbo switch placement to be an art form in and of itself. Flip up for continuous shooting, flip down quickly for the special magic, then flip back up to fire away. Cotton gives you only three continues, but they are not in the traditional sense. You see, the first one you use in a stage allows you to begin where you left off. But if you use a second one in the same stage, you get a try again message and are tossed back to the beginning. After enough practice, you find strategic ways to try and not get hit. Ah. Of course, it doesn't always work. Learning what to avoid memorizing patterns, and finding where to position yourself on screen will help immensely and you'll get better with each playthrough. Cotton makes good use of the scoring system because you earn extra lives every 20,000 points. The loading times are quick and almost non-existent. I detected a little bit of slowdown when you are powered up with a lot going on, but overall the pace of Cotton always seemed fast. Also, check out the option screen which allows you to adjust a few things by pressing select. When you finally defeat Cotton, the game hits you with a go extra screen. To get the true ending, or in this case, the game's credits, you have to play through the entire thing again on a much harder setting. There are no intermissions this time, and you use the same lives and continues you have built up in the first pass. I tried to beat it a few times on default, and I got a little further each time, but honestly, the second pass is just too hard, and I don't know, cotton is just not addictive enough to make me suffer through it anymore. So, that's about it. Ah, damn it. I did it! I beat the second pass! <laughs> Nobody else really cares, do they? Cotton has well-designed levels, great power-ups, unique enemies, and awesome music, making it more than standard shooter fare. To be honest, I would have rather had maybe a few more solid stages instead of the whole play through a second time to see the ending gimmick. But I still really like the game, and let's face it, I was extremely addicted to it, so that has to count for something. Lollipops or not, Cotton is a really great game, and I, E. Goober, recommend it. <laughs>